Hi, so Veronica La Consentida, and today we have a great show on Tu Musica Mi Casa. Don't go away. Aren't these pretty? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about these afterwards, but let's first look at my first video. It's called Mujeres Sexy, Sexy Women. And the person that did the music is gonna be in the studio today. So watch this video, check it out. Que las gorditas no deben bailar Que solo las flaquitas se miran sexy en la popularidad Y me han dicho, ay que bonita te puedes ver Si solo un poquito la dietita puedes obtener Y como Blanca Nieve solo está con la pregunto Dime mi espejito lindo, no si es malito Y me miro por aquí, y me miro por allá Dime si me veo sexy, me muevo por aquí, y me muevo por allá Dime si es un sexy wall No se vayan, we're going to go watch some commercials. No se vayan a ningún lugar. Quédense aquí, ahorita regresamos. Hola, soy Panchito de Casa Latina Ice Cream. Con deliciosas paletas y helados de crema y de frutas. Que les encanta a los niños. Aguas frescas de sabores tradicionales. Tostilocos, duro locos, biónicos, raspados mexicanos. Para el calorcito. Jugos y licuados naturales. Súper saludables. Tostadas de ceviche y mucho más. Estamos en la Eastern y Stuart dentro de Casa Latina Record. 702-384-9891. Casa Latina Ice Cream. Barrel Boutique in Las Vegas is the only name you should know for a perfect one-of-a-kind custom-made dress that is as unique as you. Barrel Boutique brings your vision to life, whether it's a communion, quinceañera, or wedding. Barrel Boutique's designers are known worldwide for their original designs, superior styles, with a flair for fashion, and they're right here in Las Vegas. Call today for your appointment, 702-382-1823. The secret is out. A flying saucer has landed in Boulder City at Area 52, now open to the public. Visit and discover all sorts of extraterrestrial materials, such as Star Wars lunch boxes, drones, reading materials, ET DVDs, posters, models, souvenirs, and so much more. Drive out to the Flying Saucer, Area 52, at 441 Nevada Highway, Boulder City. Look for the crashed flying saucer. Now exposed. Hi, welcome back. Bienvenidos. 
Ahora vamos a ver otro video. We're going to watch another video by a musical arrangement that was done by our guest today. So many of you might know him. I don't know, but you're going to get to meet him here today. And the video is called Pon una... Por una X en tu ex, tú ya eres mío, por una X en tu ex, no cargas a mío, por una X en tu ex, yo estoy a tu lado, por una X en tu ex, de mí estás enamorado. Dile a esa vieja que ya no te estés diciendo porque yo cuido mi mandado. Quiero que la saques del face porque ya me está fadando, ya me está cansando. Ella en su tiempo tal vez era la princesa, pero ya valió más. Porque ya llegó tu reina, que se incline a la reina y que se vaya a bañar. Por una X en tu ex, tú ya eres mío. Por una X en tu ex, no cargas a mí. Por una X en tu ex, yo estoy a tu lado. Por una X en tu ex, de mí estás enamorado. Y yo soy la reina <risa> Quiero que le digas a esa pinche vieja flaca Que le falta lo que a mí me sobra Quiero que la saques del face Porque ya me está fatando, ya me está cansando Ella en su tiempo tal vez era la princesa Pero ya valió más Porque ya llegó tu reina Que se incline a la reina Y que se vaya a bañar Por una X en tu ex Por una X en tu ex Yo estoy a tu lado Por una X en tu ex De mí estás enamorado Welcome back And guess what? Our guest is here. I am here with Jesse Viramontes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Estoy aquí con Jesse Viramontes, uno de los talentos más grandes de Las Vegas. How are you, Jesse? Good. Good. Muy bien, gracias. <laughs> well, I'm so excited because <laughs> I wanted everybody to meet Jesse. Jesse doesn't get seen too much. He's always in the studio, always, every single day, right, Jesse? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And I wanted to ask you a few questions, Jesse. First of all, Tell me a little bit about when you got started in music. ¿Cuándo empezaste en la música? Um, empecé en la escuela a los 10 años. Mm -hmm. Ya tengo como 10 años en la música, no es cierto. <laughs> <laughs> no, desde niño, desde niño y toda la vida he trabajado. All his life. ¿Y qué era el instrumento primero que tocaste? What was your first instrument? Drums, la batería. And must I say, <laughs> he can really play the drums. Thank you. <laughs> I have known Jesse for about, I don't know, 13, 14 years, and um, I think one of the very first projects that we started working on was the video that you just saw, which was Mujeres Sexys. That was probably the very first yeah. project. It was fun. <laughs> It was very fun, and that was one thing. Una cosa que siempre me divertí mucho um, grabando contigo, pero quiero que les digas porque this show is more about like tips and things for new artists. So. I want you to tell um, <coughs> our audience, how do you prepare to go in and record? What can you do to prepare? You've been in this business so long. You've seen <laughs> everything, okay? Some people are prepared, some people are not. Mm -hmm. True or not true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What can you do to prepare to record in a music studio? Um, well, if you, if, if you um, practice is very important. I mean, you <laughs> have to... You know, if you're a singer, you have you you know you're a singer, so <laughs> you have to rehearse the song before you go into the studio. You have to sing it a hundred times at least, so you, when you get there, you have it memorized, and you just you don't have to be reading it or anything. Right, exactly. I think that a lot of people think they're going to learn there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think they go to the studio and go, okay, I'll just do it when I get there, but it's not like that. No. <laughs> it's very different than performing live. True or not true? Yes. 
<laughs> very different. People think, well, I'll go on stage and I'll belt it out. Well, you're going to be belting it about 2,000 times in the studio <laughs> if, <laughs> if you don't got it because it's very tedious. It's toma mucho tiempo. Tienes que tener mucha práctica, right? Sí. Okay, now let's think of something funny that's happened in that situation. <laughs> What's the funniest thing that's happened to you with some people that aren't ready? Like they go in there like, how do you have the patience for that? Well, they, they pay me <laughs> per hour, so I mean, you know, you can take all the sweet time you want. <laughs> si no vienen preparados, me pagan por horas. That's true. <laughs> so Get if it? you're there from nine to nine, Yay. Jesse's having a good week. <laughs> right. <laughs> true? <laughs> true. <laughs> what is some of the funniest things that have happened? I know when we worked on our song, <laughs> we were trying to think of something funny to say during our song, and that's another thing, you're a songwriter. Escribe música, he composes, he... This guy, I, I can't even, this isn't even enough time <laughs> to tell you all of the talents that he has, honestly, <laughs> really. No, seriously, and I gotta tell everybody. Anybody that knows anybody knows Jesse here in Las Vegas. <laughs> but um, I can walk and chew gum at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let's go, to, let's say something about that, because you play how many instruments? Um, <laughs> how many? Okay, en español. En español. Toco batería, drums, guitarra, guitar, bajo, bass, uh, piano, piano, <laughs> uh, teclados, teclados, keyboard, vihuela, it's a mariachi instrument, uh, whatever that is, <laughs> <laughs> uh, percusión, timbales, uh, like the snare drums, um, timbales, you timbales. Know, like, like Tito Puente, yeah, uh, the uh, and the <laughs> drums. Wait, you even bajo have... Bajo sexto. Bajo sexto, yeah, that's another a Hispanic. Accordion. 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 <laughs> sí. And you know what? He even has a guitar from Japan. Yes. He plays it. Now, wait, you got to tell us that story <laughs> in English. Tell us what happened when you went to play in Japan and you had this guitar given to you that had three well, strings, right? It has three strings. Three yeah. strings. <laughs> I've seen it. We should have brought it, huh? <laughs> yeah, the... the the owner of the store, you know, we're, we're in Japan, so he he looks at me and he's and he because um, we went to play it at a concert, so I don't know, he he recognized me and he said he offered me to give me the guitar if I take a picture with him and because he wrote a book on how to play it and that if I take a picture with his book and sign it that he would give me a guitar. So I go okay. <laughs> so this is a true story. Yeah. So. Uh, en Japón me uh, el dueño de, de una tienda me ofreció que si me tomaba una foto con él uh, con su libro de métodos que lo firmara y me tomara la foto para publicidad y, y este como venimos de Las Vegas y este me, me dio una guitarra de japonesa <laughs> and he got the guitar now the amazing thing is that he I've used it <laughs> he's used it and he knows how to play it <laughs> and it only has three strings and I mean, he's <laughs> never played that instrument before, well, the, right? The less, the less the strings, the easier it is, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know because I don't play any instruments, <laughs> but, but I think that's amazing. Like he can pick up pretty much any instrument, pretty much, and play it and make it sound alive. It's, it's amazing. Super yeah. talent, super talented. <laughs> Um, so we were talking about funny things and we were talking about the video, uh, Mujeres Sexies, and I think that was one of the most funniest moments because we were talking about the part of the song where the girl is eating too much, like she's putting something on, on the tacos, and we started cracking up so much that we <laughs> couldn't even breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and that's happened a lot when we're recording, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so also we're gonna um, we're gonna introduce another video at this time, um, one that was done by um, Mundo Mundo Barbosa that we've mm -hmm. had on the show a few times, and you're in the video. I'm playing the guitar in the video. That's Jesse. Actually, That's Jesse. I'm actually I'm playing all the instruments. <laughs> oh yeah, you know how that goes. <laughs> the magic of video. Um, but. He looks a little different. He's wearing his little cowboy hat today, but that's just in the video. <laughs> and um, let's go watch the video. You make me feel so good. Buen mundo.
So that was Mundo. You make me feel so good. Un saludo para Mundo. Hi, Hola. Mundo. Hola, Mundo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, we have a couple more questions here that I wanted to make sure that I talked about. But one of the main things I want to talk about is that Jesse is leaving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ya se va, nuestro querido Jesse. We're leaving. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Uh, bueno, nos vamos a... Uh, me voy a mover a... a La Ciudad de México. He's moving to Mexico. Um, pero desde allá puedo hacer la música. Yes, but we have a surprise. Uh, uh, sí. He's still going to be working because Jesse is amazing. You have <laughs> to work with him. So <laughs> we're going to have on the screen an email address where you can mm -hmm. still contact Jesse because Jesse is going to be able to do music in a studio that he's going to have in Mexico and mm -hmm. be able to email, mm -hmm. right, the music sí. to our the clients here. And then you can probably put some vocals somewhere here in mm -hmm. some local studio. Mm -hmm. But just so you know, um, he's still going to be working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> todavía. Yeah. So todavía. Uh, mm -hmm. todavía. Voy a estar trabajando uh, para mis, mis clientes. Voy a, puedo seguir haciendo su música. Se la mando por, por el correo electrónico que van a poner aquí. ¿verdad? Yeah, we're going to put it on the screen. Y mi teléfono va a ser el mismo. ¿eh? Aquí, teléfono de Las Vegas, lo voy a tener en México. His phone number is going to stay the same. Pretty much is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he local call. The same local, local number. Uh, mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to contact him. Now, yes. let's talk about what kind of music do you arrange? Because Jesse does all kinds of musical arrangements. What styles? <clears throat> De todo. O sea, he, he, he tocado con, con diferentes uh, grupos como... Uh, um, desde mariachi. He can do mariachi style. Norteño. Norteño. Um, tropical. Tropical. Salsa, merengue. Um, banda. <laughs> uh, also, blues, yeah. rock, <laughs> jazz. Uh, de, de todo, what de is todo the tipo. Strangest kind of music you've done. I'm just curious. Strangest. <laughs> I would say like Afro Cuban. Like, yeah, that's m more exotic. It's not salsa music. It's mainly all percussion and yeah, it's <laughs> look a little bit complicated actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fun. But the thing with Jesse is, if you give him an idea, this is what's so amazing about you. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, witnessed it yesterday. <laughs> I came in with an idea of a of a children's theme song, mm -hmm. and I just sang the words to you. And you just grasped the idea and mm -hmm. took it and made it into the song for me. Sometimes people write, but they don't have any idea of what the music's gonna be. So what Jesse does is he creates the music, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's the talent that I'm talking about here. Él puede crear cualquier tipo de música. Well, is that <laughs> <laughs> is that amazing or what? <laughs> well, I, I mean, you could really do anything with anything. It's it's been many years that I've <laughs> I've been doing this. How so many albums have you worked on? I have <laughs> no idea. I have stacks like <laughs> stacks of thousands of CDs. Just just one client. We're on like album number twenty two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to tell your audience that's watching <laughs> you right now? Bueno, que que sigan viendo el show de. <laughs> De Verónica, ¿verdad? Tu música a mi casa. Y uh, bueno, pues los esperamos uh, por acá en, en Las Vegas, el tiempo que me queda por acá, y yeah. este, y, y nos vemos en México también. Yeah, he'll see you in Mexico. Make sure you contact him for any type of music. Thank you. Barrel Boutique in Las Vegas is the only name you should know for a perfect one-of-a-kind custom-made dress that is as unique as you. Barrel Boutique brings your vision to life, whether it's a communion, quinceanera, or wedding. 
Marel Boutique's designers are known worldwide for their original designs, superior styles, with a flair for fashion. And they're right here in Las Vegas. Call today for your appointment, 702-382-1823. The secret is out. A flying saucer has landed in Boulder City at Area 52, now open to the public. Visit and discover all sorts of extraterrestrial materials, such as Star Wars lunch boxes, drones, reading materials, ET DVDs, posters, models, souvenirs, and so much more. Drive out to the Flying Saucer, Area 52, at 441 Nevada Highway, Boulder City. Look for the crashed Flying Saucer. Now exposed. Hola, soy Panchito de Casa Latina Ice Cream Con deliciosas paletas y helados de crema y de fruta Que les encanta a los niños Aguas frescas de sabores tradicionales Tostilocos, duro locos, biónicos, rasparos mexicanos Para el calorcito Jugos y licuados naturales Súper saludables Tostadas de ceviche y mucho más Estamos en la Eastern y Stuart dentro de Casa Latina Record 702-384-9891 Casa Latina Ice Cream So, go to Facebook and let me know what you think of these glasses. Aren't they so pretty? And I bet there's a lot of girls out there that would love to have a pair of these glasses. So, make sure you visit me. Vayan a mi, mi Facebook que se llama Tu Música Mi Casa para, para ver cómo les gustan estos lentes. Bueno, before I go, I just wanted to say a special thank you to my very good friend, Jessie Vira Montes. Jessie, I just wanted to say, and I don't want to get emotional because I'm such a crybaby, I just wanted to say thank you for always doing such a great job of my music. Uh, anyways, I love you, Jesse. Thank you. Hi, aren't my glasses pretty? <laughs> anyways, dije que iba a decir dónde puedes encontrar estos lentes. I told you I was going to tell you where you can find them. Well, you have to go to Facebook, Tu Música Mi Casa, at Facebook, and check it out, because ahí van a ver dónde pueden comprar estos Bonitos lentes. Hola, soy Panchito de Casa Latina Ice Cream. Con deliciosas paletas y helados de crema y de fruta. Que les encanta a los niños. Aguas frescas de sabores tradicionales. Tostilocos, duro locos, biónicos, rasparos mexicanos. Para el calorcito. Jugos y licuados naturales. Súper saludables. Tostadas de ceviche y mucho más. Estamos en la Eastern y Stuart dentro de Casa Latina Record. 702-384-9891. Casa Latina Ice Cream. The secret is out. A flying saucer has landed in Boulder City at Area 52, now open to the public. Visit and discover all sorts of extraterrestrial materials, such as Star Wars lunch boxes, drones, reading materials, ET DVDs, posters, models, souvenirs, and so much more. Drive out to the flying saucer Area 52 at 441 Nevada Highway, Boulder City. Look for the crashed flying saucer. Now exposed. Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Somos Mauricio y Manuel de Maurel 15 Boutique y estás viendo Tu Música, Mi Casa. Barrel Boutique in Las Vegas is the only name you should know for a perfect one-of-a-kind custom-made dress that is as unique as you. Marel Boutique brings your vision to life, whether it's a communion, quinceañera, or wedding. Marel Boutique's designers are known worldwide for their original designs, superior styles, with a flair for fashion. And they're right here in Las Vegas. Call today for your appointment, 702-382-1823. Hola, hi, I'm Veronica La Consentida, and I am featuring new artists on my new show called Tu Musica, Mi Casa. If you're an artist looking for a big break to be on TV, well, this is it. You could put your video on my show. We're looking for all kinds of genres, country music, hip hop, rap, norteño, banda, any kind of music you have, we should be putting it on our TV show, Tu Musica, Mi Casa. <laughs> 